What is good YouTube, what's you here with a video on The Flash Season 3 and Legends of Tomorrow Season 2 and the title of this video is The Reverse Flash Why Can't He Be Killed Explained Here's why So spoiler alert if you haven't caught up it appeared that the, the Reverse Flash was killed by the Black Flash in the season finale but before we can go over, over how the Reverse Flash was killed, let's go over what Reverse Flash it actually was. So we're going to have to go back to the Season 1 of The Flash. So the Season 1 of The Flash, the Reverse Flash was Harrison Wells, who was actually Ebard Thorne, the original version of the Reverse Flash who was killed by Eddie Thorne, his distant relative, who shot himself. So this was the original version of the Reverse Flash. But you've got to remember the Reverse Flash is always going to be from the future. Then in Season 2, a time remnant version of him appeared. He didn't know what time period's in. He didn't even know the Flash's name. But he figured everything out. So then in the end, the time remnant goes back to the future. Then in the season two finale, the time remnant returns to Barry Ann's mother to kill her. But this time round, Barry Allen stops the reverse flash from doing this, thus for creating flashpoint. So then he takes the time remnant and himself into a flashpoint, then cages them up. So this for their both versions of the flashpoint. Then at the end of the flashpoint timeline, Barry Allen has to ask the time remnant flashpoint version of the reverse flash to kill his mother to fix all the flashpoint problems. Well, at least what he thought. And then he was dropped off. And then Barry said, is everything back to normal? And he said, you'll find out soon enough. You'll find out soon enough. Or something along them lines. So then now we're at, so we're at the start. Well, we're actually at the point of season three of The Flash after Flashpoint. So this is the point where Ebar Thorne time remnant goes to Legends of Tomorrow season two to try to get the Spear of Destiny so he can actually exist properly, properly. So then in the episode called Doomsday, Doom's World, sorry, the Reverse Flash writes himself back into history. Now this is where it gets confusing because the show didn't make it clear if it was the Time Remnant or the version of the reverse flash that wrote himself back into history properly. So then in the season finale, an army of time remnants come and the black flash comes for Ebard Thorne, the time remnant, or is it Ebard Thorne, the version from Doom's world that actually wrote himself back into history. So it's clear to me that I think it is the time remnant the original time remnant for back from season two, who was killed off. So in my opinion, you cannot kill off the reverse flash. He's always going to come back. He's always 10 steps ahead of everyone else. So war stew, why can this happen? So we don't know how many different time remnants he's got. He brought an army of time remnants. That doesn't mean it was every single time remnant that he created. You've got to remember the reverse flash is from the future. He's so clever, clever that he makes Barry Allen look stupid. And then we pull the multiverse into it. So even if there are no longer any time remnants, the multiverse, there's different instances of the reverse flash who will always be an enemy of the flash. And then the fact that they're enemies in the future, there's so many future fights between him, the reverse flash and the flash that he has to have. So guys, the reverse flash will never die. I got a lot of comments in a recent video that I made before the season finale when I said that the reverse flash will come to the flash season three to help him. 
That may not be true any longer, but the point is the reverse Flash will never die. Yes, he did die, but which, which version of the reverse Flash actually died as it's not clear which version died. To me, I think it was the original time limit, but I've been speaking to a few different YouTubers and uh, they can't, no one can really agree which version actually 100% died because there should have been two in instances of the reverse flash in the season finale. There should have been the one that existed in 1916 and the one that came back from the Dooms World episode, but we only seen one version. There are multiple ways he can be brought back, but it's clear that he's coming back as the actor Matthew Lent Chester, I think his name is, tweeted, that's me for now, but I'll be back soon. So he said he's hanging his boots up for now. I'll pull his image up, but he'll be back soon. So he's going to be coming back. Whether it be in season three, I could still see him having a small cameo, being involved with the Savitar storyline. Although a lot of people may disagree, if he doesn't come to Flash Season 3, he will 100% be in the Flash Season 4. We've not had a season without the reverse Flash appearing. He appeared in Season 1. He appeared in Season 2. He was pinnacle to the Flashpoint Season season 3 storyline. And some people in the comments said, Oh, but the writers said in Season 4 there won't be a beast of villain. No, that's not what they said. They said the main villain will not be a speedster. That doesn't mean that Reverse Flash won't pop in. I mean, it's not the fact that Reverse Flash isn't coming back. It's what version of the Reverse Flash is coming back. I've really started to like the actor playing Reverse Flash. It is just amazing. He did, his, his reaction to Black Flash the first time, then Black Flash in the season finale coming to kill him. He knew it was coming. His acting skills were on point. He's such a good actor. Sad to see him leave the show temporarily. But guys, he will be bad. Like always, comment down below what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think a different version of Ebar Thorn was killed? What version of Ebar Thorn do you actually think was killed? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, this is a side note. Let me know in the comments down below. I've been trying to improve my thumbnails recently. I'd be much appreciated if you could like this video for all the hard work. I'm putting into my kind of improving the thumbnails. I've started to add my logo to pictures so people can't steal my thumbnails as I think it's pretty cool. So guys, if you could do that for me and like this video, it would be freaking awesome. Um, I'm going to announce my 2000 subscriber giveaway tomorrow and ironically it's going to be a Black Flash or Reverse Flash Funko Pop that we are giving away. I'm going to go through the comments on that video tonight and then we were finally see but one thing as a side note um the actor tweeted out you're finally going to see what's in my flash ring tonight he tweeted that out before the season finale of legends tomorrow season two aruba we never got to see what was inside that flash ring i will be doing a video on the predictions for season three i just didn't want to jump on it straight away as i feel like it does take a good amount of time to research what potentially could happen look at some comic books and stuff and i, I youtube is just a hobby for me so i wanted to do some comprehensive research before i jumped in anyway guys cheers for the love i'll catch you in another video this has been war stew peace out